Welcome back guys, I'm Cody, the Rad Retro Dad, and today I've got another update to the Wii Remote Light Gun. And this is for all of you that don't want to have like multiple sensor bars. This only requires just the dolphin bar and that's it. Come on, let's all go to the Rad Rad Retro Show. Master of the Retroverse, he's the Rad Retro Dad. All right, guys, so today, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you an update to my Wii Light Gun build, and this one is geared towards using only one Wii sensor bar. And the sensor bar that I'm using is also the way that I connect my Wii remotes to my computer super easy, and that is the Mayflash Wireless Sensor Dolphin Bar. It is linked in the description. It's a fantastic product. Makes it super easy to connect your Wii remotes to your Windows PC and just have them just sync right away. No trouble. All right, the other thing I want to mention is that I am using the Nyko, the Nyko Perfect Shot gun attachment for my Wii remote. <clears throat> I love this thing. I think this is probably my favorite gun attachment. And if there's any available on Amazon, I'll link to them, but it's getting a little hard to find this. You can only get them like, like used now. Buying them new is very rare. Um, but I'm also going to link in the description a generic version that is, is really similar to this. It's, it's a little bit different, but it has the same functionality. And it comes in a two-pack. So you just buy it, and then you can hook up two remotes. Play two-player. And I also want to mention that I opened up an Etsy shop. Links in the in the description. There's some fun. There's a couple fun T-shirts, and you can get the the retro dad hat. So if you need a good Christmas present, or if you just want to prove that you're a retro dad, go get one. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's begin. So the prerequisites for this tutorial: you first you need a Mayflash wireless sensor dolphin bar, links in the description, and you need to update the firmware. And again, it's super easy, links in the description. Just make sure that your, your dolphin bar is connected to your PC when you start the install process for the firmware update. But super easy, I'm sure you guys can handle it. A second is you need a Wii remote or two and you need the nunchuck adapter. This is required. Even if you don't use it, you still have to have it plugged in to your Wii remote in order for this method to work properly. You need to go download a program called Gunmote. Now, Gunmote, um, I have shown in past videos. If you haven't seen my previous Wii remote light gun videos, you should really go watch them. They've got some awesome information and it'll get you caught up a little bit more for what we're doing here. But this video, like I said, is for anybody that just wants to plug in the dolphin bar and just start playing without any additional um, Wii sensor bars for improved accuracy. This will give you really good and I would say super playable, um, almost arcade experience accuracy. Okay, so I'm not going to explain how to install that Gunmote program. You can do it. It'd just be very agreeable when you're installing it and you'll do just fine. All right, so let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how this is done. All right, guys, so here we are at my computer. Right now I have Gunmote opened and TechnoParrot. TechnoParrot is a program that runs kind of modern style arcade games, including light gun games and there's a whole bunch of really good ones on here and I'll let you guys go and do your research on that. Okay, so before we even get started, you need to have this dolphin bar set up and you need to have it put into mode 4. So if you click this mode button, you can see that it scrolls through the different modes. You want mode 4. After you put it into mode 4, you're going to hit this sync button. 
and it will start blinking. And then you just hit your sync button on your Wii remote. I don't have to show you how it works. It will work for you first try, guaranteed. So once you have your dolphin bar set up, you can put it at the top or the bottom of your screen. I am doing the top in this method because I got better results. Now I'm gonna put my dolphin bar down here so my gun can't see it because I have a Wii sensor bar already already mounted on the top of my TV and I'm just gonna use that. But you can use your dolphin bar. Once you have your Wii remote connected to your dolphin bar and your gun mote program open, it'll automatically detect the Wii remotes that you have connected to your PC. Now, make sure that you point your Wii Remote away from your TV because right now, your Wii Remote is in mouse mode and it will mess around with your mouse as you're trying to set this stuff up. So just point it away from the sensor bars and you'll be fine. All right, so we're going to start with gun mode. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. And from here... You've got some options up here. I like to say pair on start, then your Wii remotes will automatically pair once it starts, the program starts. And start gun mode with Windows. All right, now down here is the most important. It says sensor, sensor mode. And in here you've got two IR top, two IR bottom, and what that means and you can see it on the camera here. You've got these little sensors, IR sensors, in your, your Wii sensor bars. And, and there are two sensors on each bar. Now, you can see that there's, there's actually five. But this over here is one sensor, and this over here is the second sensor. All right, so I have mine set at the top, and I only have two infrared sensors. So I'm gonna choose IR top for my, my build. But you can also, if you put it on the bottom, choose bottom, and right here you see four IR. That literally means four of these sensors on each corner of your screen or in the center of the screen. Each corner is IR, 4 IR square. In the center of the screen is called the diamond. But for this tutorial, we're gonna do the 2 IR mode. And you can choose top or bottom depending on where your sensor bar is located. Once you have that set, I do wanna just show you just really quick how you can configure your controls. Now, there is a default setting, which is mouse and keyboard. You don't even really have to mess with this. But if you did want to, uh, to customize it, you can customize any, any button on your Wii Remote. So on this panel here, as we scroll through it, we got the Wii Remote, and you got the pointer, left pointer, etc. You're all your buttons, A, B, home, left, right, uh, plus, minus, and you can even go down to the nunchuck, and you got all access to all the different functions of the nunchuck. And as you notice, you even even have like tilt and shake, um, so you can program even motion to activate certain buttons or do certain things. Now on this side, you have outputs, and these are the outputs that you want to assign to it. So if you click this, you got keyboard outputs mouse outputs, Xbox 360 outputs, Wii Remote outputs, cursor, and other. Um, so if you want to just have them all displayed, just click all, and as you scroll through here, the orange ones will be mouse, the uh, green ones will be Xbox, and etc, etc, etc. So for example, I'll just do one I've already got. So I've got light gun mouse right here. So we're going to choose light gun mouse, and we're just going to drag it over and we'll just drop it right there. If you mess up an input, just hit the X and you can redo it. But it's as simple as clicking and dragging whatever inputs you want. And you guys can experiment however you want. I left it at default.
All right, once you have your control set up the way you want, click the X, hit the back, and now we're ready to pick up the Wii Remote. And from here, you can do a couple things with the Wii Remote. So if you hold down the home button for just a couple seconds, you'll get this, and you can select what kind of input that you want. And I'm going to leave it on default. Gamepad would be Xbox input. All right, so we're going to click off of that. So the next thing I want to show you is calibration. How to calibrate it so that you get really accurate results with just one Wii sensor bar. You're going to, on your remote, press the minus and the home button at the same time and just hold it for a second and you will get this on your screen. And what it says is it says aim at targets and press A or B to calibrate. Press A or B to start calibration. You will need to shoot each target several times. So it's going to, you're going to stand back from the from the, the screen about six to seven feet. And you're going to go ahead and hit either the A button or the B button to start the calibration. So we'll go ahead and start it. And once it starts, what you're going to do is you're going to just aim and it looks funky on the camera, but I'm aiming with my eye. So what you want to do is you want to look down the sights of your gun and you want to put that that target that's right there in the center and you want to shoot it. And you're going to shoot it like three times. So we're going to go one, two, three. And now the target has changed. And it's hard to see, but it's clear over here in this corner now. And, and again, you're going to put it in your sights and you're going to shoot that. I'm going to go one, two, three. And it will, it will say no sensor detected. That means you're not, not standing far enough back. And again, up here in this corner, one, two, three. And then over here, one, two, three. And then the last one, lower left, one, two, three. <clears throat> and let me see if I can put this in the sights. And now you have really accurate, almost the same accuracy as using four sensor bars. I was very impressed with this. So this method is incredibly accurate. I would say it's like dang near as close as using four different sen Wii sensors. And so I may actually just keep it this way, this set up this way, um, because I feel like it's it's accurate enough for, for my purposes. But um, you can experiment with it and, and see. But that's that's it. That's how you calibrate it. And then from here, you can go into your program and you can set up your controls how you want. So one thing to note before we, before we go and set up the controls is that at this point, I had to completely shut the program down, killing the task in Task Manager and restarting the program for these settings to kind of like sink in. So we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how that I did that. Is I had to open up Task Manager and I had to kill the gunmote task completely dead. And then reopen gunmote. Give it administrative privilege. <laughs> and now we can go ahead and we can set up our, our game controls. Now I've set this up for... Aliens Armageddon and it's a fantastic game you should you should search for it and get it so what we're gonna do is we're first going to click on game settings and then right up here where it says input API make sure that you choose raw input and if you have use relative input some games will have this checked by default make sure it's unchecked and go ahead and hit save. Now we're gonna go to controller setup. And I've already set up all of my, my controls for this game. Go ahead and set up, you know, your set up a button for the the service, the coin. Um, I usually like to do the one of the number buttons, one or two for the coin, so, so it's out of the way and you don't keep hitting it. 
And then obviously you're going to do start as trigger, your trigger as trigger. And uh, I like to put grenades and other special um, abilities onto the nunchuck to make it useful. And then the most important thing here is when you're choosing the input for the light gun, you want to make sure that you choose the input that has this identifying number. So you can see that there's two. That's because I connected two Wii remotes to my PC. So for player two, you're going to choose this one. For player one, this one. And the way you know is because that number appears on all the other inputs that you've put in. Once you set it up, hit save, and now you're ready to play. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit play. And I would say that even, I'm standing about six feet back and it's still pretty accurate. And that's it. Now you can play as many light gun games as you want using only one Wii sensor bar and have near arcade accuracy. And I got to say, I went to my local arcade and I play, they have this game. And I played it. And then I came home and played this one. And it's not much different. The only difference that I could really feel in playing this game was the gun that I was using. I'm using a handgun here where I was using a big giant thing at the arcade. If you have any questions about this, or if I missed something, leave it in the comments. I am always willing to help. Go ahead and share your experience with, with using gun mode. And tell us about your arcade light gun builds. I am always, I always love hearing about other people's uh, creations and, and how they're using these tools that I'm, I'm showing. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite light gun game is. And until next time, stay rad and stay retro.